Hello everyone, welcome back to Trendy Mommy. I know it's been a while since the last time we did a DIY for our little ones. So in this video, we're gonna add some new ingredients to our popular felt food DIY video for our vegan and vegetarian friends out there. Today, we're gonna be making an avocado, tofu, mushroom, and zucchini. As always, you can get full instructions with directions on how to cut the shapes from the felt sheets on our website. So be sure to check out the link in our description box down below after watching the video. The first felt food we'll be making today is an avocado. First, you're gonna to wanna to draw an avocado shape on the light green sheet, about 5.5 centimeters by nine centimeters. Then use the avocado shape cut from the green sheet and transfer it onto the dark green felt sheet, then mark it around to create a nine centimeter by 12.5 centimeter. Then you're gonna to wanna to draw a circle about three centimeters in diameter in the middle and cut it. Then use it to transfer the shape onto the brown sheet. Now cut 0.5 millimeters away from the drawn circle on the brown sheet. Use a blanket stitch to sew the brown piece on the light green one and create the seed of the avocado. Then place a light green on the dark green. And use pins to help you hold the sides of the avocado and blanket stitch together, reversed. Inner part out. Pinch and hold with your left hand a few fingers away from the sewing point. This way, you know when to fold the dark green piece more so it fits the length curve of the light green. Once you have sewn half of the avocado, unfold it to the right face. Stuff in the poly filling, then continue blanket stitching until it's fully closed.
Now that you're finished making this avocado, repeat the same steps to make your second one. Let's make some tofu. With the white felt sheet, draw and cut 12 5 by 5 centimeter squares. On the off-white sheet, cut 6 1.5 by 21 centimeter bands. Take the Velcro and put the hook and loop together, then cut six small squares about 0.5 by 0.5 millimeters. Mark the center of each square, then sew either the hook or the loop piece on each square. Using the blanket stitch technique, sew the band on one of the squares with the hook. To sew the corner, flip up the band from you, then place the rest of the band onto the next side of the square that you're gonna sew it on, then flatten the corner creating a 45 degree fold. On the last corner, you'll find the edge of the band going over the head of the band. So you can either cut it and sew together the two ends or by leaving the extra length as it is. Now mark the corners of the square on the other side of the band to match the other square with the loop that we'll be sewing with. Once again, use the blanket stitch technique. Before closing the last side, fill it with polyfilling, then sew it to the end. We went ahead and made seven pieces of tofu, but you can make as many pieces as you'd like. Now let's move on to the portobello mushroom. Using the cream felt sheet, cut an eight centimeter diameter circle. Then on the dark brown sheet, cut a six centimeter diameter circle with a two centimeter inner circle. 
Use the inner circle size and transfer it onto the cream felt sheet and cut. Cut a band of the following size, about 1.5 by 9 centimeters. Blanket stitch the small circle with the long side of the band and create a cylinder shape that will be used as the stipe of the mushroom. Sew the other end of the cylinder to the inner circle of the dark brown circle. You can add some filling now, which is optional, to this type. Now, using the same technique, sew the dark brown piece with the cream circle inside out, about halfway. Before you finish sewing, revert to the right side and add the poly filling, then continue sewing to the end. Aren't these mushrooms super cute? First, we're gonna cut two shapes of zucchinis on the light green felt sheet, then place one on the dark green felt sheet to create a larger version of it. Now, place a dark green piece between the light green ones. With the needle, pass from one face to the other and tie a knot to create the seeds of the zucchini, making a long stream following the central axis. Super easy, right? 
All right, guys, there you have it. DIY vegan felt foods. We hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did. Now go have fun with your little ones. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from us. Thank you. Bye.